Though born in Henley on Thames, Hugo Blick could have been a cowboy. Aged 18, his concerned parents decided he needed to have his waywardness ironed out of him. He was packed off to Montana and put under the tutelage of a family friend who happened to be an avid outdoorsman and former U.S. Air Force captain. I was thought to need a stabilizing influence, recalls the 57-year-old writer, director and actor over video call from New York. The Air Force captain taught Blick how to shoot and hunt. Apologies to any vegans out there, he says. He also learned how to spin a horse. Even in the late 80s, Montana was a wilder west than anything on the M4 corridor. Winters where temperatures go below 60 F are not unusual and life out there can be hard. The ghosts of the harshness of the frontier of the 1890s still haunted the place, at least for me. Half a lifetime on, these skills and experiences proved useful to Blick in making the English, the beautiful and intriguingly subversive six-part TV western he wrote and directed, starring Emily Blunt as an English aristocrat uprooted and anxious in the Wild West and Chase Spencer as a majestic, S. Both Blunt and Spencer play characters whose paths fatefully cross while on their respective revenge missions. She has come from London to hunt down the man who killed her son. He, a soul divided between serving as a U.S. cavalry scout and his Pawnee ancestry, has his own demons to exorcise, not just the barbarous advance of European civilization that has evicted him and other Native Americans from their ancestral lands but also one particular white devil in the form of Rafe Spall's diabolical cockney chancer whom Spencer witnessed committing a massacre with a corrupt band of U.S. Army lackeys. Initially, Blick cast himself in a minor role. It seemed a reasonable decision. After all, his first career was as an actor. He was, among other things, the young Jack Napier in Tim Burton's 1989 Batman who memorably kills Bruce Wayne's parents before saying, Have you ever danced with the devil by the pale moonlight? Plus, Blick can ride a horse with a plum. But he gave up the role when he learned he'd have to pay a £50 insurance premium. The English resembles iconic westerns such as John Ford's 1956 The Searchers or Clint Eastwood's 1992 Unforgiven in being a revenge-based chase drama, but has more twists on that format than a horse-bound lasso. Instead of alpha white male Avengers, Blick gives us a gun-toting English rose of a heroine with Katniss Everdeen-style archery chops battling 19th century misogyny in bracingly 21st century terms. You want to rape me, Lady Cornelia Locke tells Kieran Hines' evil hotelier in the opening episode, as she sits wearing a gorgeous but wilderness inappropriate pink frock under his frightening glare, 